What is up? It is Steve P. Young. I am the founder of appmasters.com. In this video, I want to share how to hack sales calls and make you more desirable, even though you're the salesperson, make you more desirable. Let's get to it. Here we go. All right. What do you see here? I know it's Denny's. Shout out to Denny's. When you see a line like this at a restaurant, what do you immediately think to yourself? This place must be good. So we're going to use this same type of approach and strategy and mindset when we're setting up our sales calls. And here's how we're going to do it. So here's my first email to everybody that comes contacts us through app masters. Here's some key points that I want to highlight to you. Number one, we don't actually take on every client that wants to work with us. So let's schedule a call to see if we're a good fit for your goals, right? Now I say your goals, not my services for your app. It's for your goals. I want to really focus on the actual customer. I also send a link to schedule a call with me. It just saves so much time to do this. So I just send them a link and I show them some social proof. I say, Hey, we've gotten a ton of apps featured. You can see most of our case studies on our homepage and I'll link them back just in case they didn't see it. Next, again, because I'm using this analogy of having a long line waiting for me, I set up call days. Now, Paul Graham has this great post about makers and managers, and it's hard for our mind to actually shift from actually creating content to actually managing, right? These sales calls that I have to do are managing the business. And when I'm creating content or working on content for my clients, well, I'm in the maker's mindset and it's hard for me to shift back and forth, back and forth. And so what I've done is set up two half days for my call days. Now in these half days, usually one is in the morning and one is in the afternoon. I'm just focusing on being a manager. I'm focusing on educating my potential clients. I'm focused on making sure that they feel good during that first interaction with me. And also because I only have two half days, I'm putting this approach in place that, Hey, there is a line for people who want to talk to me. So here is our schedule once I use schedule once this link at masters.com slash Steve call actually will redirect you to my schedule once. And here you can see our March, 2019 calendar. Hey, look, he's not always available. There's only certain days that he's available. And so this shows people that, Hey, one, I value my time. And also there are a lot of people who want to talk to me because I'm not readily available for you. Next thing I do is after you schedule a call, you will be redirected to this page and I'll show you the full page, not just this screenshot. Here's the full page. Now, granted, I probably need to update this thumbnail. It's pretty nasty. I should do that. But Hey, here's what it says. We only have 20 minutes for our call. So I want to make our call to be all about you and strategies to help you. So here's a quick video about me. And it talks about the same steel that I've given for many times. And I also say, Hey, if you're too busy to watch the video, here's what you need to know. I've been in the apps business since 2011, 2013. I started podcasts, blah, blah, blah. I just cover the bullet points that are covered in this video. And why I did this is because I got sick and tired of saying the same two minute spiel to everybody introducing myself. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I got tired of it. I do calls. As you can see, my call schedule is very much structured and I do calls back to back to back to back to back. So saying the same intro back to back to back to back, I just said, there's gotta be a better way. And I did this. And what people have said is, wow, it's very organized. It's very structured. It makes scheduling calls so much easier. There's no back and forth. I know some of you thinking, Hey, does this feel awkward? Does this make you look like you're, you know, in the power position or people put off by that? Actually, no. And if people are, they're probably not a right fit to work with you. People have said, I love this process. People have gone through this process and said to me, Steve, I'm copying this actual workflow. And so I thought, Hey, if enough people have said I'm copying this, I thought I share it with you. It has made my life so much easier. And I actually enjoy making phone calls now because before I used to be like, Oh, I gotta do another call because I'm in the middle of working. Like I'm in the maker's mindset. I didn't want to be in the manager's mindset, but now I'm like, I'm in the manager's mindset. I don't care. I just want to provide value, 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 value. And then boom, 
I'm able to do that. And it's brought up my energy level so much more. And the other benefit to doing it this way is you can A-B test on the fly. So in the beginning when I was, when I put the structure in place, I would say certain things to certain clients and I say, oh, this got a really good response. So I'm gonna continue using that, right? I would pitch our services in certain ways and I got to A-B test live. So I was like, oh, that didn't go off well. Let me get another call. Da -da -da -da. Oh, he likes it when I say it this way, when I say growth hack, for example. So it's really great in terms of really being able to talk to your potential customers, really making sure that your days, your work days are the most effective and your mindset is gonna be optimal to getting through the day. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit subscribe. I'm super excited to continue to bring more and more business content for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.